Hi, hey, ho, ha. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good evening. Or should I say good morning or good afternoon from London, England to all you football fans around the world. This is your host, your guy, the one and only and truly, yes, DLG Repping. That's Dele London Guna, Ro Space, Romeo, Echo, Papa, Papa, Indigo November. And I'm bringing you live and direct um, football headlines on my content. So I'm dropping another football video on this platform. Yes, you guessed it. The beautiful YouTube or the beautiful world of YouTube. Before I get started, yeah, make sure you leave any positive feedback um, in my comment section below. That could be your thoughts, your opinion, etc. Smash the thumbs up like button for me, please. I would really appreciate that. Share this channel as well. I'd appreciate it if you share it virally, globally, all over the world to your friends and relatives and tell them to do the same thing and share it with their friends and relatives. And viewers, don't just like, comment and share. Subscribe to my channel, yeah? Do subscribe. And speaking of subscribers, I've got a new subscriber again. Um, I don't know if it's a him or a her, but massive shout out to you. Love to you. That love goes out to you, should I say. Massive shout out to you for subscribing to the channel, yeah? We're pushing for 1,000 and beyond subscribers, and that is my aim. So keep subscribing. Please smash that subscribe button, left, right, and center galore, and passionately. Just remember to keep subscribing. I'll keep um, showing you my love by giving you, by dropping you more f football videos on YouTube and keeping it um, consistent. And you've got to show me your love by subscribing, yeah? You're helping me grow this channel. And um, if you want to see fresh content, headlines, you want it all, keep subscribing. Anyways, let's get on to um, the biggest breaking news of the day. And that is, um, the big one here is um, Manchester City have signed Jack Grealish for a British record of 100 million. And I repeat, Manchester City have signed Jack Grealish for 100 million. It is breaking news. What a huge statement of intent for Manchester City. What a great move for, for Jack Grealish. It's going to be a challenge. But it's going to be a challenge that he's going to enjoy and relish. And I think they've got a fantastic problem, Manchester City. And I mean an excellent problem in that midfield. But if I'm picking my Manchester City midfield trio, my holding midfield will be Rodri. My two alongside him will be Kevin De Bruyne and Ilke Gundogan. And the front three... Do I put Grealish in my front three? No, because I've got Harry Kane up top. He's my main striker. Raheem Sterling, my main right wing forward. My left wing forward, no, my left wing forward is Raheem Sterling. Right wing forward, Rihad Mahrez or Bernardo Silva. But Bernardo could be out on his way out the door. So where does that leave Grealish? But, um... Hold on. Let me um, read um, the head title written in yellow. Manchester City sign Grealish from Villa. And that was um, moments ago, or some hours ago, should I say. Or it could have been well, minutes, hours, don't matter. He passed his medical with flying colours. And now he is a Manchester City player. When he's going to be presented, I do not know. But I can tell you, that he's a Manchester City player on a long-term contract. Let's um, read this on. Manchester City have signed England midfielder Jack Grealish from Aston Villa for a British record £100 million. He has surpassed Paul Pogba's record by £11 million more. 
Uh, Manchester City fans, I'd love to hear from you in my comment section below. Is this the right signing? Is this the is he the right signing? And um, will he have a huge impact in you guys retaining your title? Leave it in the comment section below because I'll tip you guys to win the title this season. The 25-year-old joins the Premier League champions on a six-year contract and will wear the number 10 shirt recently vocated by Sergio Aguero. Oh, big boots to fill in. But if anyone's talented enough to do the job, I back Jack Grealish all day long. This guy is on levels now. And I mean on levels. Germany in the um, round of 16 in the European Championship. He came on as a substitute and he changed the game. Full stop. City are the best team in the country with a manager considered the, to be the best in the world, said Grealish. It's a dream come true to be part of this club. Wow. What articulate words from an exquisite but talented footballer and a great number 10. Um, Manchester City fans, do me a favour and um, pick your starting 11. Come onto this channel, into my comment section and pick me your best starting 11. Because I'm going to pick mine right now. Edison's in goal. The back four, Walker, Diaz, Stones, and uh, damn, you do need a left back. Shinchenko, your midfield, I've said Rodri, either side of him, De Bruyne and Goodigan. Harry Kane in the middle, he, he's pending, it's pending that he's going to become a Manchester City player with um, Mares and Sterling either side of him. Grealish is going to have to be on the bench. It is what it is. But pick me your starting 11. Don't forget, come on to my comment section. And while you're doing that, yeah, smash the thumbs up like button for me. Share this channel all over the world. And Manchester City and football fans, could you please subscribe to DLG Repping? My platform, my channel, my be or end all, my everything. Thank you, football fans and Manchester City fans. Right, moving on. And um, this is another big breaking story here. And I'm going to read it from my tablet. If I've got it, for crying out loud. This guy here, considered for me as the nearest thing to Maradona. And he's been the best thing since Maradona. And that's Lionel Messi. Because it says there's a head title here. Messi's, Messi to leave Barcelona. After how many years? 13, 14 years? The guy has been a football genius, a messiah. Um, everything about Messi, world class. The man was doing kick-ups with tennis balls, um, a grape. God knows, and I'll tell you this for free, God knew he created a footballing goddess, a footballing saint. And Lionel Messi has been that. I watched him terrorise my team in a match in the second leg. He scored four goals against my beloved Arsenal. Four. He tore us a new one and beyond. And I've got no qualms against this guy. This guy is a footballing genius. He's going to be up there with the greatest when he retires. Most definitely. He'll be questioned about um, his performances for Argentina in World Cups. Okay, fair enough. I can't um, find so much of a defence for him. But one thing I can say about um, Lionel Messi. You'll have him in your team. He would not just walk into your team. He would crawl and bunny hop into any team on this planet. Fact. Let me read on here. Lionel Messi will leave Barcelona after La Liga club were unable to fulfil a new contract that had been agreed with the player due to financial and structural obstacles. Whereas the pandemic um, hit the whole world, Spain, Italy, a number of countries were crippled and Barcelona have been crippled by the pandemic and the coronavirus has really had a negative impact on the club. Not just them, but a number of um, clubs. And they're going to need as much money as 
basically possible to withstand um, their club. Right. The six-time Ballon d'Or winner has officially been a free agent since July 1 after he failed to agree terms over a renewal before his previous Barcelona contract expired on June 30. However, the 34-year-old had been expected to sign a new five-year contract with the Catalan club. Now, this 34-year-old was in the academy with Cesc Fabregas and Gerard Piquet, two other talented um, footballers in their right image and frame and um, in their right proven ways, which would have been which which uh, which would have seen his salary reduced by fifty percent. Messi spent his entire career at Barcelona, coming through the academy clubs academies through the club's academy before going on to score 672 goals in 788, 778 appearances. Let me repeat that again. 672 goals in 778 appearances after making his senior debut in 2003. A club statement said, despite Buffalo, FC Barcelona and Lionel Messi having reached an agreement and the uh, clear intention of both parties to sign a new contract today. This could not happen because of financial and structural obstacles. As a result of this situation, Messi shall not be staying on at FC Barcelona. Both parties deeply regret the, that the wishes of the player and the club will ultimately not be fulfilled. FC Barcelona wholeheartedly expresses its gratitude to the player for his contribution to the aggrandisement of the club and wishes him all the very best for the future in his personal and professional life. <laughs> Reading on a little bit, Barcelona have been struggling to reduce their wage bill in line with La Liga's financial fair play rules for this coming season and have been in talks with Vice-Captain Gerard Piquet, Sergio Busquets and Sergio Roberto about reducing their salaries by 40% in return for contract extensions. Wow, forty percent is a hell of a lot of of wages to drop. It's still a hell of a lot of wages. I'm not over exaggerating. I'm just stating the whole um, predicament that um, Barcelona are facing, and that's their reality. No word of a lie. They have also been trying to sell several high earners, including Antonio Griezmann, Osman Dembele. Philippe Coutinho, Samuel Untiti and Martin Braithwaite, but again, have not found solutions for any of them. Wage caps in La Liga are calculated prospectively based on a club's financial health and they must adhere to their cap in order to avoid future financial penalties. The cost of the COVID-19 pandemic had severely reduced Barca's budget for the 2021-22 campaign. And this is just it, you know. So much they've had to um, cut back on. You know, if you look at the whole club, there's been a number of cutbacks, maybe on the staff, the tea ladies, tea men, the programme sellers, um, retail staff, etc. It is a, a negative effect on Barcelona and I really feel for them in some senses. I wish Messi... Will do well. I, I always have wished him the best of luck, except when he plays my team. But hey, when your defense is as pants as ours, he will definitely have a field day. So, um, let me read. Can I read some more? No, I won't do that. I'll just get onto the transfer gossip. So, um, Barcelona football fans, um, your reaction to Lionel Messi leaving the club this later on this summer. Leave it in the comment section below. First day's gossip column. Inter Milan expect Chelsea to return with an improved bid worth £110 million for 28-year-old Belgium striker Romelu Lukaku after rejecting their initial offer of £85 million plus Spain defender Marcos Alonso. And this is um, coming out of the mail. Jack Grealish's imminent arrival at Manchester City could trigger the departure of Bernardo Silva with Barcelona and Atletico Madrid keen on the 26-year-old Portugal international Mondo Deportivo in Spanish. 
Aston Villa expected to pursue a deal for Norwich's English midfielder Todd Cantwell if Great English completes his 100 million move to the Etihad, which he has done. So Cantwell could be um, moving um, to the Midlands. Atalanta will hold talks with Chelsea this weekend to discuss a potential deal for England striker Tammy Abraham. Gianluca Luca Di Marzo. Now, um, Abraham, who was heavily linked with Arsenal recently, um, he was recently heavily linked with Arsenal, and it the, it um, got a a very sour response from Arsenal fans, and I can see why because his track record is not the best. He struggled to get in front of the other strikers at the club. When you're playing Havertz or Werner up top, and they're not con- they're not considered as number nine, they're not, yeah, you know, um, your goal scoring week in week out number nine. But one thing is for sure: if he's not getting ahead of Drew, even then there's something um, completely wrong. And I'm relieved that um, we're not going for a Abraham. And on top of that, he's been linked with a move to Southampton. So you know, if Southampton. You've lost a striker and you want to um, get someone in. It's entirely down to you. Paul Pogba will start the season with Manchester United, but will make a decision about his future before the transfer deadline, with PSG still interested in the 28-year-old France midfielder. Telegraph subscription required. Tottenham want to sign attacking midfielder this, an attacking midfielder this summer, with PSV Eindhoven's England Under-21 international, Noni Maduke, and Sampdoria's Denmark winger, Mar- Mikel Damsgaard, on their shortlist. Barcelona's Brazil forward, Philippe Coutinho, is among the players Tottenham will target if they sell Harry Kane, which is going to happen. That's all Man City needs, is a big striker, and Harry Kane is that big elite striker. World class, he's definitely in the top 10, or within the top 10, in my personal opinion. And like I said, if you want to leave a comment... In- about Harry Kane not being world class or or is being world class, leave it in the comment section below. I say he's world class. If you if you d- disagree, my comment section is in, in my comment section is at the bottom of the screen. You know what to do. Right. Um, let's see, Leicester City have turned down a player plus cash bid from Arsenal for England midfielder James Madison. The Foxes are reportedly not interested in the players. The Gunners have. Offered in part exchange. <laughs> I I could possibly uh, believe this because the players that we've got at the club, they're not outstanding. They're all right, but not outstanding enough to uh, make Brendan Rodgers go or make Leicester City fans go, Phew. I would love to have him at Leicester. How many Leicester City f- play, um, fans would want any Arsenal young player or any uh, any Arsenal player. Leicester City fans, if you want to comment, then you know where the comments um, place is at the bottom of my screen. Right. Sheffield United are hoping to sign Ben Davies on loan from Liverpool. The 25-year-old English defender has not made a single appearances, appearance for the Reds since just signing from Preston in January. This is coming from goal here. Liverpool and Switzerland winger Sheridan Sekiri is the subject of interest from Serie A side last year after telling the Anfield hierarchy of his desire to leave the club. Correa de la Sport. Crystal Palace have targeted Arsenal for Reese Nelson as a potential loan signing. The Gunners will allow the 21-year-old youth England youth player to leave as his game time is likely to be limited next season. That is always going to be the case. Could have told you that. A year ago, Sky Sports have reported on that. And I'm going to read one more, yeah. And that's um, Atletico Madrid midfielder. Sal Nagir's representatives are attempting to engineer a move to Liverpool. However, the Reds remain unconvinced that 26-year-old Spain international wants to move to Anfield. This is written by someone from Court Offside. Mm, I might lean a little bit towards the truth on that, but I don't know. I'm just another numpty YouTube YouTuber. Oh, get my words out in the end. <laughs> I ain't been to the pub as yet. Anyway, um, 
This has been 20 minutes long. And it's um, the headlines that excited me. But the main thing is, ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, let me thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, saving the best to last. Thank you all football fans for forever putting up with me. <laughs> I really appreciate the patience. So in other words, um, like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. Please smash that subscribe button for me, left, right, and center. Let's get um, a lot more than 120-odd um, subscribers. I'm going for over 1,000 subscribers and beyond, like I said earlier. So keep subscribing. So viewers, I might be back um, later on. If I'm not, then it's going to be tomorrow afternoon, hopefully. Other than that, take care of your friends, take care of your families, take care of yourselves, and um, stay safe. Peace, love, and bless again. Enjoy your Thursday evening, the way it is. The weather's not been too kind to us, but that's, um, to, um, that's for another day. There's other good days ahead. Otherwise, football fans, I'm out of here. One more thing. Be nice!